Hi guys, today I want to introduce XGen to you. XGen is a set of procedural materials that lets you create various parametric shapes for your environments, like fences, grills, manholes, wall effects, architectural facades, and more. The added benefit is full control of the shapes you make, which lets you quickly try different patterns out with ease. In addition, you can bake the materials for full optimization. Here in the XGEN's master folder, you will find 21 master materials, each with a unique mathematical function that let, lets you create uh, those shapes. In addition, there's uh, some common parameters. And if I open a instance of one of the masters, uh, here in the uh, top part is, are the unique parameters for each uh, uh, material and below you have the common parameters which are the border generator, the wire generator and the circular generator. The border generator allows you to create a border around the perimeter of the material. The wire generator lets you create wires that crisscross your surface and a circular generator that uh, regenerates a circular pattern based on the initial shape that you created. Below that you have the texture parameters and the baking parameters. So let's uh, come a little closer so I can show you what is possible with XGen. Here is a uh, parametric uh, fence that uh, I created uh, using uh, one of the uh, master uh, materials. And I can uh, show you how I did it. It's a very simple process. So let's uh, see how to achieve that. So the first thing to do is turn on a geometry that I imported. It is a very basic uh, geometry that I created in 3ds Max. It's uh, a simple geometry where I just pulled some uh, vertices uh, out uh, to create some variation in, in the geometry itself. So with that, let's find the masters. Uh, the one that I want to use is this knotted mesh 01. And let's create an instance and then simply drag it onto our surface. As you can see, we need to make some adjustments. Uh, the first thing we need to do is turn on the opacity mask for this uh, material. And let's also adjust the tiling and also the scale. Once we've done that, I want to change the rotation. And immediately you can see that we're already beginning to see um, what looks like a fence. Uh, from here, there are quite a few parameters, but I just want to uh, shed your attention on um, this um, overlap scale, which allows us to uh, increase or decrease the distance between the uh, wired uh, meshes of the fence. Also, uh, we have a um, distortion amount, which allows us to distort the mesh based on a noise function in case we wanted to add some distortion. Um, and then uh, we have the uh, texture parameters here. And the next thing that I want to uh, put your attention to is this uh, normal um, switch. And once I turn it on, you will see that we are starting to get a sort of three-dimensional um, uh, look into our uh, fence. Uh, from here, what we can do is just tweak some of these parameters. We can add um, some of, uh, or we can add a, a texture, first of all. So let's just add that. We can um, change the roughness value, the metallic value, texture tiling, and so on and so forth. Um, let's also, I want to show you uh, the uh, wired generator to uh, achieve these sort of wires that uh, I mentioned. So let's just turn it on and let's just uh, start adjusting some of these uh, parameters here. So let's first uh, come here and get something uh, here, something like that. Let's change the thickness to something like that. Let's turn this, this thing down. 
Let's do the same for here. to something new thinner and so <clears throat> as you can see it's quite an easy process to start uh, creating these uh, effects so let's uh, move on because I want to show you some of the other master materials um, here is another sort of uh, metal shutter door that um, was created with uh, another master material and again you have quite a few uh, parameters that you can play with uh, to adjust um, and create different uh, shapes here um, I've created uh, two more shapes from the same uh, master material. Here is uh, one. And here is also another one. Um, here is also uh, another material that I want to show you, which creates these random damaged uh, bullet holes or damages on a surface. Um, and again, you have uh, quite a few controls. You can change the random seed, um, the uh, micro tiling, which gives us more detail within the um, uh, damage, uh, the strength. You can uh, adjust the, um, uh, the size uh, as well. So you can have different sizes. And uh, here also I've left the wired um, uh, parameter switch on and you can see some of these uh, sort of uh, wires like rebars uh, coming through the, uh, uh, the the holes themselves so I just want to move on uh, to show you some of the other uh, materials here this is the fence that I just showed you this is the um, uh, door that uh, I also just uh, we also just saw these are uh, some other uh, master materials with different uh, shapes. Um, here, um, let me just uh, open this one and show you um, the other parameter, which is the border and what you can do with it. Here you have this um, border, which is turned on, and you can turn anything either into a circular material or um, this rectangular, you can uh, create them in uh, either directions and create uh, different sort of um, uh, borders. Um, let me go back to this. And here you have the internal ring, so you can create something that has more bevel in it or less. Um, and in this case, um, you can also, of course, change the basic shape into something else that you want. So from uh, that, we turn this into this shape, which is uh, quite an entirely different uh, sort of uh, uh, concept. Um, the other thing to note is you also have this use mask for texturing, which allows us to differentiate the internal uh, shape from the external border. And if I come here and uh, just uh, turn on this color, you can see that I can color the inside differently from the border. Uh, <clears throat> here, I'm just going to go and uh, pass through some of these other shapes. Here, um, I will show you that um, I have not turned on the opacity. And uh, because we have um, the border now turned on, you will see that even though we do have a border, we still have that uh, uh, the, the surface showing. So I would need to turn on the opacity to uh, take out uh, the remaining uh, part of the surface. Here is um, another sort of uh, shape. And let's 
let's move on to this side here let's first change the lighting because uh, it's difficult to see and here we have this uh, damaged uh, uh, sort of uh, metal uh, surface and if I open it up again we have uh, control over uh, a lot of these parameters to change and to make it uh, <clears throat> or to suit our uh, purpose uh, to um, what we want. Uh, here again is a similar approach. Here again, um, just going through these is a sort of fence-like uh, procedural material and you can change the uh, surface, sorry, the uh, shape, the height, uh, perhaps the uh, sharpness uh, to some of these uh, uh, spikes and so on. Uh, here is another one. Um, here is a um, one where I have turned on the circular pattern. So I'm just going to show you how it is without the circular pattern on. And once you turn it on, it takes that initial ch shape and uh, turns it into a spiral. So here you have the spirals and you can change the uh, how many you <clears throat> are generating. Here is another shape. Here is a shape where you can create these metal vents. Uh, again, you have parameters to change some of these uh, settings. Uh, and here is another one. Here is a uh, basic uh, metal grate floor. And again, this is um, geometrically created. So you have the ability to uh, change a lot of these um, parameters and even the shape itself. Here is another metal uh, flooring. And then uh, on the other side here, you will have uh, these uh, other patterns, other shapes. Uh, here you can um, change the sliding. Again, let me change the lighting so we can see a little better what's going on. Something like that. Um, and then you can play with a lot of these uh, parameters and decide which one is something that you want to try. Um, here is another one, another one, another one. Here is uh, the similar uh, effect that I had shown you in the other example where I have turned on the circular um, generator. If I turn it off, you'll see it's a different, uh, completely different shape. Here is another shape, and here we have the uh, random uh, uh, pattern that I showed you earlier on the uh, uh, facade of the uh, building. Uh, and here, it you can change again um, some of these uh, parameters and create different shapes uh, for different. Uh, uses. So that's it. Um, I hope uh, you found uh, this uh, video useful. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any specific uh, needs or ideas, please drop me a line. Uh, good luck with your project, guys, and uh, speak soon.